Hi, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today's practice is a nice spring twisting practice. So in yoga we often use twisting uh, in the springtime because it helps to sort of detox the body, to create a bit of um, spring cleaning in the body as it were. So we're twisting and coiling up and that uncoiling then allows the blood to flow through the organs, through the skin, through the body and creating that nice new energy. Also on a sort of mental emotional note, it's that binding up and then releasing, which we can sometimes attribute to in the winter when we're hibernating and our minds uh, and our emotions kind of draw in a little bit. So then we twist and we open up and we come into spring, letting go of those emotions that no longer serve us uh, and those sort of feelings of, of drawing back. So with that in mind, when you're ready, pop something comfortable to move in on and jump on your mat. Find a comfortable seated position or just take a moment tuning in. So sit however feels best for your body in this moment. Just let the shoulders draw down away from the ears, lowering the gaze or closing the eyes. Consciously letting go of any stresses or tensions from the day or week so far. And just give yourself permission to be fully present in your practice. With no judgment, no expectation. Just for this time, give yourself permission to be fully present in your body and in your mind. Let the awareness come to settle on the breath and just following that flow of breath in and out of the body. Gently trying to deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale. Creating a smooth, even breath. And then with your next exhale, bring the chin in towards the chest. Let the back slightly round, belly button going back towards the spine. And then the inhale, we're going to lift the chest, lift the chin, lift the gaze. So the exhale, chin to chest, let the back round. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, lift the gaze. And again, exhaling. And inhaling. Lovely. Then we'll exhale, come to a nice neutral spine. We'll inhale, take the arms out and up. And then exhale, popping the hand down to the right left arm, coming up and over. And send that left sit bone down towards the mat. Find that stretch right through the side of the body. And then inhale, coming up through center. And exhale over to the left. So again, send that right sit bone down towards the mat. Find the length right through the body. Wonderful. Then we'll inhale, coming up to center, and we're going to exhale and twist to the right. So right hand going down behind you, left hand coming onto that right knee. So come into our first twist. So be nice and gentle. Try not to yank 
the body round. Just try and gently encourage the spine round. Think about with your inhale lengthening up, with your exhale twisting. So you can always ease out a little from the twist with the inhale to lengthen, and then exhale to settle back into the twist. And then we'll inhale, coming back through center, enjoying that unwinding movement as you reach the arms up. And then exhaling over to the left. Left hand down behind you, right hand on that left knee. So again, thinking about that lengthening up, exhaling to twist. Looking over the left shoulder. center again enjoy that untwisting feeling then interlace the fingers bring the chin down towards the chest hands come in onto the back of the head let the elbows hang find a nice stretch into the neck and the upper back the hands, draw the head up to center, we'll uncross the legs, stretch the feet out in front of you. So have a little bend in the knees, sitting up nice and tall, and we're just going to walk the hands forward, taking a nice gentle forward fold over the legs. So this doesn't have to be like the best forward fold you've ever done in your life. Just try and encourage the backs of the legs to start to wake up. Lengthen through the spine. And remember, it's always good to have a little bend in the knees, especially the first time you go into a forward fold in your practice. It just helps release the hamstrings, which releases the um, pelvis, which means you can move from the base of the spine rather than rounding the back too much. Lovely. So we're going to take hold of the left foot with the right hand. You're going to see if you can draw yourself up, right, upright, drawing that leg with you. Great. Then we'll see if we can reach the left hand out behind, looking towards that left hand. I've got a wall, so I'm just going to hold on to the wall. <laughs> Hopefully you've got enough space behind you to really reach that arm out. So we're twisting the body towards the left leg. Then we'll inhale, come back through center and lower that left foot back down onto the mat, taking hold of the right foot with the left hand. Draw that right foot up and then reaching the right hand out behind, looking towards that right hand. So again, try and turn the body towards that leg. We'll inhale back through center. Again, enjoy that untwisting feeling as well. And we'll go again on the other side to take hold of the left foot. Draw that left leg up, reach the left hand out behind. Lovely. Coming back to center. Often we take so much care going into a pose, we forget to take that care coming out as well. So take the time with that untwisting movement as much as you do with the twisting movement. Great. Coming back to center. And we'll go once more to either side, so taking hold of the left foot, draw that left foot up, reach the left hand out behind. See if you can lift up just a little bit more through the upper body. And then back through your centre. Lower that foot down. Take hold of the right. Draw that right foot up. 
reach the right hand out behind. Great. Coming back through center. Lower that foot down again. Little bend in the knees. Once more, little forward fold over both legs. sitting. We're going to bring the feet in, soles of the feet together, letting the knees roll out, coming into a cobbler pose. So you can hold on to ankles, sitting up nice and tall. Think about sending those knees down towards the mat. So rather than it being a really passive movement, think about engaging the glutes, use those adductors to help press the knees down. Wonderful. And then we're going to stretch our right foot out at a diagonal from the body. Left foot resting on the inside of that right thigh. And we're going to reach towards the right foot and bring the left arm up and over. So this is a more open twist. So we're trying to lift up through that left shoulder, open up through the front of the body. If it's not comfortable having that top arm lifted, wrap it round the back of the waist instead. Lovely. And we're going to draw ourselves all the way back up to centre. We'll bend the right knee back in, stretch the left foot out. We're going to reach towards that left foot, bring the right arm up and over. So again, think about opening up to the side. So we're twisting and lifting. Again, if that top arm's not comfortable, wrap it around the back of the waist instead. If the neck feels okay, you can always turn the gaze up towards the ceiling. Or it can stay straight ahead, but try not to let the head just hang down to the, towards the lengthened leg. Try and use those neck muscles. Lovely. So we're going to inhale, draw ourselves all the way back up. And then stretch both feet out in front. So I'm going to spin myself around again. We're going to bend the left knee in, sitting up nice and tall. So we can either stay with the left foot on the inside of the right thigh or crossing over. Again, sitting up nice and tall. We'll take the left hand out in front. Then exhale and take that left hand round behind onto the mat, wrapping the right arm around the left leg. Great. Again, we're into that closed twist. So try and draw the body towards that left leg. If you like, you can always take the elbow, the right elbow to the outside of the left knee to help ease the body round just a little more. and slowly enjoy this movement coming out unwind back round to the front uncross that leg lengthen it away we'll have a little bend in the knees and fold forward take a moment just checking in with the body noticing how the body feels And then we'll inhale, draw yourself all the way up again to sitting. Bend the right knee in. So again, for either on the inside of the left leg 
or crossing that foot over, standing up nice and tall, standing up nice and tall, sitting up nice and tall. <laughs> right hand out in front, exhale and take that right hand around behind onto the mat. Wrap the left arm around the right leg and looking over the right shoulder. Notice if you've forgotten about the lengthened leg. So send those left toes up towards the ceiling. Twisting, coming back round to centre. Uncross that leg, lengthen it away. Good bend in the knees and folding forward. So let the head hang down, let the body be supported by the leg. slowly rolling up. Make sure you've got enough room behind you and we'll keep that roll going, rolling all the way down onto your back. Once you're lying on your back, bring the left hand onto the heart center, right hand on the belly. Let the eyes gently close. And just take a moment, drawing the awareness in. Checking in again and noticing how you feel within yourself. With no judgment, no expectation. Just awareness. If you have time, I'd recommend staying here in Shavasana for a while. You can always pop on a meditation, I'll link some at the end of the video. Or just lying here and taking the time with your breath. But if this is all you have time for today, then we'll end the practice here. So thank you for joining me. I hopefully see you here again soon. Please do subscribe, like the video, all of those things. Pop on the bell notification so you know when a new practice has come up. And I hope you have a lovely spring. And all this twisting helps you to move forward into the spring with hope and with joy for what's to come. Om Shanti.